What's crack a lack and blow? We've got some serious science going on today. My buddy, Big Clive, and I call him Buddy on account of knowing his brother so well, did uh, a teardown on some single point automagic lubricators. Hey, what he and his brother get up to in the privacy of their own whiskey drinking dungeon, that's, that's their own affair. It's an electronic device that will gradually push the grease in this container out through this port. And the clever thing about it is, uh, by default, it comes set to off. This is probably just as well. But we're gonna reverse engineered a SKF. This is a brilliantly, devilishly simple design. Just a matter of a couple of chemicals. Oh. Safety third, am I right? Dihydrogen monoxide, known by the state of cancer to cause California. We gotta allay the fears with the workplace label here. Prudence the safety goat, that battery in her. That's um, sodium hydroxide and agua. Yeah, like so. We are going to make our own battery. Reactive metal, in this case, aluminum. Scuff up the surface. Mix up the sodium hydroxide in the aqueous solution. Just so happens this pencil, double duty. Not double-ended, mind. It will conduct electricity on account of the lead actually being graphite, which is carbon. You do like that. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Let me show you the apparatus here. Fluke 87.5. A beauty, a bonnie, and a joy forever on the volts DC scale. Let's just make sure that the leads are leading. Gulin. Show zero volts. We put the aluminum in the solution, 1.4 volt. We've made a battery. More importantly, however, bubbles effervescing off the surface of the aluminum. With not but three ingredients, we got uh, an electrolytic cell, a battery. Dihydrogen monoxide, jokingly referred to as water, H2O, sodium hydroxide, Na, the sodium, and OH group. That's a, a base, an alkali, and aluminum. What kind of effervescence do you figure that is? Well, there's not much reacting, but the water, and what can water turn into? Oxygen and hydrogen. But since this is a metal, it's likely getting oxidized. It's uptaking the oxygen. That gas you see, that's hydrogen gas. For funsies, we'll stick a chunk of zinc in there, see what the voltage is. Grade 5 steel bolt, national course, 3 8 but it is electroplated with zinc. Lo and behold, OT375, and it too is evolving hydrogen gas. Now, Big Clive had a poke under the petticoats, rather, the pantaloons. Actually, you know what? It's none of my fucking business. He gleefully splayed apart the undercarriage of that automagic lubricator. Uh, I'm going to put a screwdriver. I'm going to apply unreasonable force into here. It just popped out. Here and found not, but some air zinc cells. These are interesting batteries. They come sealed up from the factoria on account of them actually needing oxygen from the air in order to chooch. You look at that, if you focus, you fat zinc battery, 1.45 volts, ought to be about 1.56, but you know, allowances must be made for chooch factor and so forth. The interesting thing about these is they are sitting, before they're activated, they're sitting at around four volts, three and a half volts. So what happens here in these lubricators is instead of peeling back and allowing oxygen to get in there, they preemptively do the reaction it wants to do. It's sitting at 3.4 volts. That means it wants to do a reaction. You, you, you get a regular AA battery and it's one and a half volts. It's waiting to react. It's waiting. It's got potential there. And all you got to do is connect a little wire and it heats up. It does its reaction. Same thing with these guys, only it's waiting 
for us to peel this back, allow oxygen to go in there and chooch at 1.4. So what if we don't do that? What if we just connect a wire up right now? What kind of reaction are we going to get? I don't want to put you on a list with Gil Bates or Slamazon, so we're not going to use the pipe Mexican word for pump. <laughs> I learned my lesson when I mentioned vibrating, massaging urethral expanders, how great they were. We're going to put all these fittings together, including this male nipple. Speaking of demonetizing, I'm going to put this all together. I'm going to put a little wee hole in there. I'm going to fill this full of grease. A lot of Teflon tape, pipe dope. And then put the battery, what's been short-circuited, right inside of there. That way there's nowhere for the hydrogen to go. It ought to push the grease out the hole. <whistles> Brand new German beauties. Like them ladies with the mountain calves. Like hams. No apprentice marks on her. Look at that. I don't tend to recommend things, but... You know what I'm saying? And click. Look at that fancy uptown rig. Squaw. What for them Portland baristas making bookshelves for their girlfriend? Ow. Now this would probably go a lot quicker if I had a fucking grease gun with any grease in it. Oh, he didn't give me much warning on that one. Did the rebar tie to the periphery of the cell and then fold it over. For perspicacity, we'd add some HPHT. Ran out. Eh, I'm sure they make it in factories every day, but, you know, going out in public. Ugh. I'll just use some phasing tape. Bloop. Holy shit. Look at that cork stuffer. I didn't think it'd actually work. Look at this. You're squirting up a hell of a mess.